Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy. We are back here on Hypixel Skyblock forums. <laughs> you guys like this episode? Make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. I'm doing two videos today, guys. We are going to skip the usual video. I will figure out something. <laughs> I'll figure out something uh, later. For, but, but there was an update today. Hypixel is my main my main server, so we got to we got to do this. Uh, so this is the zero point two oh point three edition, twenty point three edition of the uh, update. It's the mayor's update, so you guys understand this one. Uh, this post is brought to you by Clark Sofina on behalf of. I'm sorry, Clark. I can't say his name. Sorry. Uh, on behalf of the Hypixel Skyblock Mares Coalition. Greetings. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this stuff here. Uh, but I'm going to read this initial start here. And uh, I'm going to go over the stuff in here instead of reading the entire line here. And you guys can come through and read what you like to read. Um, greetings, citizens of Hypixel Skyblock. We, we pride our... We're proud to announce that the highly anticipated changes to mayors is ready to go. This update comes with changes to many perks that each mayor provides, ranging from brand new perks, additions to previous offerings, and more. These changes are not limited to mayor, mayor perks. However, in some of the changes are active regardless of whether a certain mayor is elected for the greater good of our world. This update definitely has something for everyone. Now, I haven't actually logged in yet. I'm crossing my fingers, no wipes, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, but the first thing is the community center refer refer refurbishment is complete. Uh, mayors are now de have dedicated areas to stand instead of loitering next to the um election room we've shuffled things around in the community center and around to give the place a new look also elizabeth is in her old spot because she's too stubborn to leave that spot um the actual tower itself does actually work according to uh this right here i haven't checked it yet i haven't been on since this morning if you guys don't know, I went to spend some time with my uh, grandbaby while my son and his wife went uh, to spend a little bit of quality time alone with each other. So that's where I was this morning. Uh, election changes. The first election of Hypixel Skyblock was in the year 88. In the real world, it's almost four years ago. We've gained and lost a few mayoral candidates here and there, but nothing much has changed in the mayor system overall. However, this is about to change. So, each mayor has a new fourth perk. Uh, many mayors have gained an additional perk, while others have had their entire lineup re revamped. All of these are detailed further in the post. Uh, perk rates. A mayor, I'm reading this part because it's essential. A mayor has one to two perk, one or two perks. They are now have, uh, when a mayor has one to two perks, they now have 50% chance to gain an additional perk. Increased from 45%. When a mayor has three perks, they, they have a 8% chance to gain an additional perk. The minister system. The minister system is for the renter up. And uh, they have a perk that is tagged right here. You see this little star symbol. That's their uh, minister perk. That one is active if they come in second place. So you guys can see that there. That's how that works. All the mayors have one except for special mayors. As it says right here, ministers will not be featured when the special mayor is elected as they prefer not to share the spotlight with any, anyone else. Uh, they're changing the visibility here due to popular demand. We are trailing, trialing a vote voting system where 
we alternate between showing and not showing the votes of the current election. There are merits to both systems and we're hiding. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there, there's merits to both systems. Uh, some players like it when it's more strategic for them to see the votes and some like it when there's not so people can't just like gang up. Uh, I would rather not see them. I would rather people go in and vote for the person that they want to be mayor, not look at and say, this one's got votes. Uh, there's no point in voting for anything else. So I think by not showing them, we're going to get more variety of, of mayors that can come up as the uh, Mario uh, minister perks. So that's what I would want. I don't want, I don't want people trying to mini max the system as much as they've been doing. Uh, so the mayor updates here. The first one is Marina. She has a new perk called Double Time. For every 1% of the sea, creatures, sea creature chance, gain 0.1% chance to double hook a sea creature plus 0.1% double hook chance. Marina's features a modest yet powerful new perk. Perk takes fishing yields to a whole new level while her perk is active. Double hook chance is also... Sorry, double check, double perk chance also now, I can't read today, guys, sorry. Chance has now also officially been incorporated as a stat. With the great fishing rod and the double hook attribute being reconned to utilize the, the, the stat instead. So, double hook is now a fishing stat that's going to be in all fishing rods. Or on your person, I Maybe it's on your person. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I do have to go fishing in this uh, pinko. So. Individual sea creature cap. An individual sea creature cap of 5 on Crystal Nile and 20 in the Crystal Hollows has been instituted in response to concerns that fish, fishing in general, especially the marina, is, in an awful, is an awful experience with barn fishers. I don't know what that is. You guys can help me out with that with barn fishers. Hogging sea creature cat. I'm, I'm guessing that is the type of people that like fish and then like make an area for all the sea creatures to go into and like keep them in like a one full area and then they like, like they come like every like 30 minutes or so and then like kill them. Yeah, I think that's what they're talking about there. Uh, you still... Welcome to barn fish on other islands where you're not impacting other anyone else. So they've implemented that to try to fix that issue for all players. Because basically what's happening is people are doing that barn fishing and uh, they're capping the actual server out so nobody else can actually fish. And that's hurting the game. So keep in mind, guys, when you're playing on Hypixel, no matter what you're doing, uh, you are playing with other players. Every server is an instant. There's an instant of the server, and there's a certain number of players on that instant. And it's like certain things, like sea creature cap is a thing. And like if you're doing something, cap it out for your personal self, there's like 20 plus other players that aren't getting to like take part in that because of what you're doing. So just keep that in mind. Just sea creature chance is one thing, but there's other things like that in the game. Uh, lava fishing stat changes. I'm not going to read all these. You guys can see them right here. They've dramatically decreased the damage that they do and also the amount of hit points that they have. And the starter rods, the I'm sorry, the lava fishing rods have also had their most of their damage, except for the magma rod here, have had most of their damage increased and their strength uh, changed. So, and or their strength changed. Diana! Diana's new perk is Sharing is Caring. You can have up to three uh, experience share pets active at once. Your X, X share rate is increased by 10%. Now, the reason why they did this is because they do, did a rework here. As you can see, experience sharing has been reworked. and There's now a menu to you tag a pet to have experience share. And you can get multiple uh, uh, share slots when Diana's mayor. So when she's mayor, you'll have multiple share uh, share slots, and you can activate more than one pet. More than likely, you just want to tag a couple of them in there, just leave them in there. 
and then when she's married you won't have to worry about it too much but there will be now slots that you tag in and uh don't worry the items which is covered down here uh the experience share items now buffs your experience share rate so you get you get more of that that i believe right here you get team level with a maximum of 12 percent there and then um it says it somewhere let me go down let me skip down for a second here it is so 12 percent experience share from taming and then you get 15 percent from experience share itself the top side at 27 percent total which is more than the 25 percent outside diana that you used to be able to get um let's go back up to here uh not only have they reworked the system they put indicators on it so you guys know what's going on the three slots within the experience share have color coded indicators that help indicate the pet status as follows if the glass pane indicator is green your pet currently has less than the pet xp required for level 100 at legendary rating rarity and is actively gaining pet xp if the gas indicator is blue your pet currently has more than the pet xp required for level 100 at legendary rarity it is still actively gaining pet xp but you won't be gaining any more pet levels and then the indicator red means it's it's disabled for some reason so you're either not gaining xp period like your pets maxed or you it's disabled because sharing caring perk is not active you can now favorite pets so it looks like this there's a little thing there and when you favorite a pet it starts at the top of the actual menu now so it goes to the top and you can do that by left left clicking and pressing the shift button on a pet they did that so it'd be more uh easy access finny finnegan blooming business is this new perk the garden visitor will give out fine flower and appear more often additional visitors may visit your garden i'm going to go over this in a little bit more detail than the other ones because it's it adds a whole new system into the game here so there's another one that's like that too we'll, we'll be probably going into a little bit more detail uh higher rarity of visitor the more likely they are to show up and will provide 10 percent more copper so that's what this perk does they also have another new perk it's called pest eradicator the duration of the pest hunter phillips uh farm fortune bonus is now 60 minutes pests are now four times more likely to spawn in sprayed plots that only that's only for sprayed plots okay guys Finnegan has updated his perks offerings to keep with the times. The first new mare perk revolves around a new obtainable item that the garden visitors hand out whilst the blooming uh, business perk is active. The other is the pest eradicator. Oh, yeah. Why did you just go over the same thing over and over again? Stop it. I'm talking to the post, not, not to me. Uh, farming simulator has been removed from Finnegan's roster of perks. Fine flower. This is what flying flower does. The description you'll see in game. And while blooming business is active, garden visitors will reward you with fine flower for com completing completing their request in addition to the regular rewards. So, and it is a uh, wheat fortune thing. The amount of fine flower a visitor gives is dependent on the rarity. So uncommon is one, rare is three, legendary is five, mythic is ten. Yeah, they're adding four new visitors into the game. The winds of trade have attracted new visitors to the garden. The baker, the vinyl collector, the pest wrangler, and ravenous the ravenous rhino may now uh, show up at your barn while blooming business is active these garden visitors generally offer higher amounts of fine 
flower than other visitors relative to their rarity with exception of the baker giving a bounty bountiful copper reward for trading in fine flour uh, once you've served up 50 unique visitors the ravenous rhino has a chance of appearing on your garden featuring a guaranteed dedication for book this is great because before the only way to get this was for from the librarians and now you got a second way in the game to get it however if you're going with the librarian method this is not going to work for you because um the idea is to only ever serve a librarian and that doesn't give you unique uh, garden visitors served so you, you kind of have to pick one or the other so i guess this gives you another option to try to farm those out maybe maybe you'd be more successful in this but that's a lot 50 unique garden visitors served is a lot um new pelts new pelt shop items uh while we're at it the finian changes we're also adding a couple of new items to Talbot's shop while the Pelt Apocalypse perk is active. He will have the Deuce the Stinky Cheese Potion. It costs 40 pelts. It grants 20% past chance increase. Uh, and it's not affected. The potion effect is not included in garden uh, the God Potion. Thank God. Uh, brown Bandanas, they cost 200 pelts. And they increase past chance uh for each piece beastry you have by point uh two percent in the pest vest which is a cloak it's 250 pelts it grants 10 percent pest chance increase and decreases the time required to spawn pest in by 20 percent that's pretty good if you're going with pest i particularly hate pests, so i won't be uh, indulging myself in that one Although the flower um, might be useful, so we might look into that one. Uh, Maricol, his new perk is Molten Forge. Decreases the time it takes to forge items by 25%. They updated the uh, perk Mining Fiesta. He now schedules five Mining Fiesta events for that last seven Skyblock days each earning times two drops and unique loot, including refined minerals and glossy gemstones. Grant 75% mining wisdom during the event, which is only active on public islands. The new uh, Fiesta event is in place because people were having trouble. Like it was always happening at night when everybody was asleep. So it, no matter where you were in the world, it always seemed like the mining festivals were like two or three o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So they needed to change that to where everybody could, could like be in it. So if they do five events and spread them across the day instead of like it, like it, like the old way, uh, more people will be able to get into the event and be able to use it. So it's fun for everybody instead of just being frustrating. Uh, there's also new items that they've added, and uh, they're strewn across the Heart of the Mountain tiers down here. I'll show you guys that. This is an example of one of them, the Sapphire Cloak. The Dwarven experts have recently perfected a more, a few more forging and crafting recipes that are conveniently re required. Conveniently requires refined minerals and glossy gemstones. Both items that can be obtained during the mining festival event. So at Heart of the Mountain 2, there's a simple uh, equipment set geared towards players starting out the mining journey. Uh, at Heart of the Mountain 3, there's a titanium equipment set, a slightly more advanced mining set. Uh, at Heart of the Mountain 5, I honestly think this needs to be changed here. This needs to be two. This needs to be four. Because quite literally, you can go from, like, if you're doing your four dailies, stay with me here. If you do them in four dailies, in three days, you'll have Heart of the Mountain 3. And you'll be grinding these resources right here. So, like, like you'll just have got this and started using it, and then you'll, you'll be gearing up to get the uh, titanium equipment. 
and there should be a bigger gap in there. So I think it should be two, three, I'm sorry, two, four, uh, probably five, seven. Yeah, I think that's how it should be. They have a tier four one here that's already overlocked, but I, I think that's too short of a time period. Yeah. Anyway, back to the back to this. Uh, gemstone equipment, handcrafted gemstones based gemstone based equipment that that's able to withstand the grit and grind of gemstone mining. Devon's power coating, Carol Seven, a seven, pow, a powder, a powdery substance synthesized from Devon fragments that can apply to drills and armor of the vine, including equipment. The gleaming crystal reforged stone, Heart of Mountain 4, increases your mining efficiency and fortune by harnessing the condensed powder of gleaming crystals. And then they're also got the glossy uh, mineral armor and the glossy mineral talisman. Which upgrades both the armor in the mineral talisman to new uh, armor and stuff. So that'll be interesting to look take a look at. Uh, we have Foxy. Foxy's changes are quite uh, intense. Uh, the first one is an updated perk, Sweet Benevolence. They basically took two of her perks and combined them together. So you'll get increased chances to drop candy and gifts by 30% during the spooky festival and season of Jerry. The new perk is a time for care giving. Party chest and party gifts can be obtained while this event is active. Another new event perk is Chivalrous uh, Cavalier, ca, ca, I, I can't pronounce that. Carnival, my mind wasn't working today. Scheduled carnival in the hub that is active throughout the entire year. It takes fun activities and earns token to earn tokens and exchange them for perks and special items. Foxy wasn't happy with so you. You guys can read that. I'm not reading that part. Um. So her perks revolve around various events in Hypixel Skyblock. Her time for giving perk allows players to obtain party and party chest and party gifts which are souped up versions of trick-or-treat chest and winter gifts she even has her own flagship event in the form of carnival that is active when she is when she has the carnivorous chivalrous carnival perk and uh uh, that's the part I told you about them combining two the deal the old two perks. Uh, party chest and party gifts are the new thing. Uh, they've also added in masks now. I don't know if that's in this. No, that's not. Uh, party chest earned throughout the spooky festival include an hour before and after. Party chest outright replaced trick or treat chest, and they have a chance to drop carnival related, such as necklaces and belts. Party gifts are, are earned from killing winter sea creatures whilst in the winter island. Higher rarity sea creatures have a higher chance of dropping one. Party gifts also have a chance of dropping carnival related items, such as carnival gloves and cloaks. On top of the new rewards, party chest and party gifts also buff the existent the existing loot found in the trick or treat and uh, red gifts. What might have been four ectoplasm or trick or treat chest might now be six, for example. Chivalrous Carnival. Foxy Chivalrous Carnival introduces a bunch of carnival games into the world. I'm going to go over each one of them. You get carnival tickets in special ways. I'm going to show that down here. Um, and you can be these can be used on games. Uh, each carnival, each game takes five tickets to actually play. So Jacob, uh, Jacob's Farming Contest, you get three for gold. I'm sorry, three for diamond, two for gold and platinum medals. 
and uh, one for silver bronze medals. Um, top 50 Spooky Festival Top 50 gets 50 carnival tickets. Emerald Brackets gets 35. Diamond Bracket gets 25. Gold Bracket gets 20. Iron Bracket gets 15. Uh, Stone Bracket gets 10. And the Wooden Bracket gets 5. Fishing Festival with a 1% drop rate from Nurse Sharks. A 1.5% drop rate from Blue Sharks. A 2.5% I'm sorry, 0.25% drop rate from Tiger Sharks and a 0.5% from White Sharks. Party Chest, is, uh, it's a 20.83% from Party Chest. The three Carnival games that they've added. Uh, it says something here, three Carnival games available in Chivalrous Carnival. That will be available as long as the perkin is active, minus five minutes before the carnival ends as the workers wrap up things up. Okay, so there's a five minute little gross period that's going to be where you can't have the carnival so they can close things up. I guess it's a story thing. It's also for the uh, admins to uh, get things wrapped up. So the first one is fruit digging. Uh, there's a 7x7 seven seven sandbox, and there's eight different fruits that can go in the sandbox that have different values. The values are as so right here. Mangoes are 10 points. Apples are 8. Uh, watermelons are 4. Pomegranates are 4. Uh, coconut is 3. Cherry is 2. Durham is 2. And uh, dragon fruit is 1. 15 bombs are also planted within the sandbox. Do not lose... You do not lose any score when mining them, but they will destroy nearby vets, uh, fruit. The carnival pirate man seems to be storing a stash of rum within the sandboxes. There are five rums buried within the sandbox in each game. Digging up a rum disables your ability to drowse for a turn. So it's a, it's a whammy that, that, that stuns you for like a round. The carnival shovel is equipped. If your carnival shovel is equipped with a drowsing functionality that comes in three modes: mine, anchor, and treasure. Your dowsing dowsing means you're you're using it to detect what's underneath the ground. Uh, the ability automatically triggers after you mine a block, as long as you didn't dig up rum beforehand. Mines tell you how many mines are adjacent to the block when mined. Anchors tell you that the location is, I'm sorry, location of the lowest scoring fruit near you, you've mined. And treasure tells you the highest scoring fruit that is near the block you've mined. The other game is catch a fish. The objective is to catch fish. And there's not too much for this one right here. You just need to hook things and reel them in before time runs out by right-clicking. Holding right-click, sorry, to reel them in. Uh, redfish have 60% chance to spawn and award 50 points. Bluefish have a 30% chance to spawn and award 100 points. Yellowfish, 10% chance to spawn and 200 points. You gain a bonus for multiple by stacks, stack streak. Sorry, by your streak per catch up to level up to 50 points bonus per catch. Zombie shootout using your trusty carnival dart, dart tube. Kill as many zombies within the arena before time runs out. Zombies wearing high tier armor grant more points per kill but move faster and are harder to hit. Zombies have a 10% chance of spawning a baby zombie, which awards double the points, but runs even faster. Uh, we have leather zombies that award 30. We have iron zombies that award 50. Golden zombies are worth 80. Diamond zombies are worth 120. And lamps are stationed around the arena, shooting them, resting lamps, sorry about that. 
Shooting them gives you, earns you 100 points and 1.2 bonus points for the next six seconds. There will be a scoring system in the game for it. Each of the three Gunner games has scoring points, earned 100 points to get you one carnival ticket. Carnival tickets are spent at the mask shop or event shop, both found within the carnival. The carnival shop contains both mask shop and event shop, which exclusively uses carnival tickets as currency. This is the new bag, mask bag that you're going to get. The mask shop sells carnival exclusive items. Carnival mask, each mask has the exclusive ability that situationally useful, but they are mostly just masks that you can wear to embrace your carnival festive spirit. Mask can be kept in your carnival mask for storage and easy access, granting you intelligence for each stored mask. So you are going to want to get these to get a little bit of an intelligence boost. So be mindful of that, guys, if you're going with the mage spec. Uh, the event shop. These include that will share various perks for Skyblock events. This includes uh, the Spooky Festival, Jerry Workshop, Mining Festival, and Fishing Festival. These are permanent buffs. Uh, stats and rewards. We are tracking stats for all of the Carnival Games attempts. You can talk to Chantel here to check your cumulative and yearly stat for each carnival games each time the carnival is held Shinto offers refreshed objectives for players to complete these give players significant rewards for the first few plays of each carnival game resetting with each new carnival so there you go Commemorative item, if you've gotten at least a thousand points in a carnival game, you will earn the game's commemorative item. These will make it easy to keep track of all of your high scores and positions from that from, from year to year. Once carnival ends, these automatically sent to your event rewards menu, just like just like the other stuff. So you don't have to worry about it. Um Diaz has new perks. The first one is volume trading. Double the item quantity of Shen's auction, Shen's special, and Rift Shen's on the year Diaz is elected. Two additional Shen's special auctions will be available for the duration of uh, Diaz's being elected mayor. Um, they've already showed these in some of the videos. You guys can probably check those out. It's like an armor piece and an accessory or something like that. Um, the new event perk, Stock Exchange. Diaz brings more stock of stonks in circulation. Stock of stonks can be obtained from the stock auction and winning bids for items in the dark auction and Shin's auction. Talk to Diaz while he's elected with this perk to bid for stock of stonks and trade your stocks of stonks in for cool new items. So you can actually use your stock of stonks now. You don't have to keep it as some kind of like stock system. I never understood that one. And the final one is long-term investment. The elected minister will appear in the next election with all of their perks available. So that's a pretty good one right there. That's worth it just for that one. Uh, as the worst performing mayor candidate, Diaz's current goal is to not come in last. For starters, she has had her whole new uh, squad pulled up at the Trade Center, a newly refurbished area located behind the bazaar that can also be accessed with the Warp Stonks command. Featuring the Bravo of function functions within the area. Stock exchanges features stocks stock auctions and functionality to increase the amount of coins into the Midas items that are located in this area. So that's right, guys. Your uh your Midas items can now be upgraded. 
Uh, DS also putting her connections to good use. She's pulled a few strings to get the collaborative effort going for Sean's auctions. Her connections are even cross-dimensional. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Diaz no longer offers Bar Barrier Street as a perk and has chosen to retain Shopping Spree as her last perk. Who doesn't enjoy a good shopping spree? More Sean's. With this update, Sean's auctions will offer twice a year rather than once. Diaz's volume trading perk will do three things. Double the, the number of Sean's auctions every year to a total of four. Double the number of items at, at Sean's auctions to that year. And new permanent item will be added to Sean's, uh, Sean's special if there are items available. If there are items available. Friendly disclaimer, only Sean's auctions that end with Diaz's terms will be double item. Will have doubled items. Stock of stocks. The stock of stocks were inadvertently dumped into the world by someone just before the bazaar opened its doors. Diaz has seemingly repurposed the stock of stocks concept to participate her, I don't know, her own ambitions. You can now trade stock of stocks in the following new items. Golden fragments, it cost three stock of stocks, Use eight golden fragments to upgrade one of the following items, Daedalus Axe, Midas Sword, and the Midas Staff. The Arvarius Chalice costs 50 stocks of stocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get some drink here, guys. Dying. Use one of various chalice along with other items to upgrade the emerald ring to the emerald artifact. Use two of various chalices to, along with other items to upgrade the crown of greed to the crown of Arvis? 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 Freshly minted coins. Cost one stonk of stonks capped at 5,000 global purchases every four hours used in various amounts of uh, various amounts to obtain the following scavenge ring and artifact ring artifact and relic of coins golden bounty cost 20 stock of stocks allows you to upgrade the scavenger to five on a weapon that to scavenger six which is great i want i want to get that i want i want to, I want to have some fun with that so we're gonna see if we can do that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not big with the whole stock of stocks, though. So we'll see. Obtaining stock of stocks. It would have. It wouldn't make sense for to introduce a bunch of new items without a way to obtain them. Stock stock auction. You can access the stock auction by talking to Richard in the trade center. These auctions are global and one happening every Skyblock month every approximate 10 hours uh, the top 100 bidders will receive 25 stock of stocks following by 15 stock of stocks for the top 500 and 10 stock of stocks for the top 1000 so on so there's the actual things there showing you what it looks like uh, auction bidding winning an auction at any sean auction will it additionally award 10 stock of stocks Relic of Coins. Relic of Coins has a 1 in 40,444 chance of dropping a stock of stonks every 60 seconds. Okay, so you can just get them randomly from your Relic of Coins once you get it. Okay. Hmm. Serena is an NPC that allows you to increase the amount of coins that you put in your Midas Sword and Midas Staff. This allows a player to upgrade their existing Midas items with golden fragments to then sync coins accordingly to make the item ability stronger. You can also find her at the Trade Center. This is what it looks like here. 
Midas Anvil. Other mares. Derpy has been um, talked into not uh, locking out the bazaar in the auction house during his mare ships, but he will charge you quadruple the amount so of tax on it. Uh, Jerry has reluctantly removed Diaz from his perk Ocalypse rotation as various financial services require Diaz are on holiday while Jerry is mayor. As a result, the other perks will appear more frequently. So, that them doing this makes makes the other perks appear more often, which is going to give you more uptime on Jerry for stuff that you're going to use. Um, the rest of this is about future plans. I'm just going to barely go over this part of it. Um, since the Glacial update back in March, we have been working on several improvements to mining as a whole in preparation for part two of the Glacial Tunnels. This update includes many things, including a uh, crystal nexus RNG new meter, new forge slots, and new dwarven vanilla ores in the rural mines i think that's great instead of strutting them across everywhere just put them in one section you guys can go over there mine them all you want hopefully there's multiple locations so people have lots of room to go in there and do that it's scheduled to hit apple pretty soon uh they are almost done with the planning and developing of the forging update they want to put it on the alpha there's still a couple of technical difficulties they need to do for it but it will be on alpha pretty soon for testing they also were uh, almost done with the hunting update, but they still want to do some stuff with that one. But they don't want to release it until they release the forging updates. They want those two to be together. So that's what that one is. And uh, a little special thanks to uh, Skyblock Nerds for helping out with the uh, the perks. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm going to get off here. i got to do uh, one. I'm doing. There's going to be two videos today on both channels. It's just going to be two. Uh, I am tired. I think I'm going to take a nap with my wife probably after I cut this watermelon up for her. Get some of it in the freezer. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications when I have new videos out, all you got to do is go to my page, hit the notification bell, set your settings, come check out the videos. If you do like this episode and you want to share it, with, uh, help support the channel, share it with your friends. There's a share tab down below. There's links there to search me a site. There's a link there for you to copy and post on YouTube community page. Many tips, tricks, comments. Put it in the comments down below. See you guys later.